As you can see here, our minimum security wing is coming around along quite nicely. I've got some fences that are going to be built down here in case anyone does try to escape. But it looks like pretty soon we'll have our foundations built and then we can actually go about putting some beds and etc. in here. The minimum security wing should help us, you know, uh, make income uh, a little bit easier to obtain because you don't have to put as much as much space really to to put in a minimum security wing. You're not as worried about them digging out. Here in our min our medium security wing, we've got you know a nice sizable area around the cell so that if people are trying to escape, you know there's there's some buffer room there, and also we got jail doors between the different cell blocks so that if there's a prison riot, we can isolate folks, uh, <laughs> isolate the prisoners, and, and control things that way. Uh, in our minimum security wing, though, we're not quite so worried about that. So we don't have to put in all those precautions. It costs a little bit less. Looks like our prisoners are milling about in the yard here. Uh, I want to check in on some of these maximum security guys, see how they're doing. This guy, hmm, this guy's a little bit of a, a concern because he's had a, he's in a bad mood. Bad mood is not good because it makes him more likely to riot. I think I'm going to send a guard over to search his cell. He might be hiding some contraband. He plans to use the shank of guard later on. We can't have that happening. Once you get one guy, start the shank guards, then everyone else just joins in and turns into a huge clusterfuck. And look, holy crap. I was right. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. I was right. So it turns out that somehow our uh, maximum security fellow managed to secure himself some keys, which I've now taken away from him. But uh, that's actually the first time I've seen keys... Uh, found in an actual cell. I did I did see a prisoner take one off a guard that they just beat the shit out of once, but I hadn't actually seen them pickpocket them before. This guy, he's in a fine mood. That's the guy that had the keys. He's in an okay mood. So it looks like probably just that one guy was the biggest problem. Let's check in on our foundations here. Looks like we got a few areas where it's not quite done. Where are our workmen at? Come on, workmen. Why are you not finishing the foundation? Is there a problem? Mm, I'm going to say there's a problem here. Let's just take a closer look at what's going on. Perhaps we need to put in... An entrance, although it doesn't say that there's a problem with the entrance. We'll go ahead and put a jail door in there, and maybe that will get things started. Come on, put in your jail door. Does that fix it? No, that does not fix it. Hmm. Perhaps the issue is the fence. So lest we forget, you know, this is uh, still considered an alpha game, and every now and then there appears to be a bug. And in this case, our bug seems to be that our foundation is not completing. Oh, wait, are they? <laughs> Come on, let them through. There we go. There we go. All right, so they're going to go through and demolish this fence. Yeah, they're going to swarm on it. And then hopefully that will allow us to complete our foundation. Let's go check in on our programs and see what's going on with our education. Okay, it looks like that, that education is going okay. It's going along. We can also access another grant. It looks like I missed that. So, oh, actually, no. No, we can't because we only have a limit of two. So I'm going to research the extra grant. And I think maybe when I get the extra grant, I will go ahead and do a long-term investment. I do have a lot of cash. Hmm. Maybe that'll be a good idea. We'll see where we stand on our cash reserves once that is finished. All right, workmen. So what's the deal here? Are you just you just have to move some garbage to get this done? Mm, no. Yes. Maybe. Come on. All right. You know what? Screw it. We can just go ahead and uh, 
cancel this foundation process and, and redo it. So let's just redo part of it and see what happens. And let's check in on the needs of our prisoners. Looks like sleep sign on the list, clothing's not too bad. Our sleep danger level is currently medium, which kind of surprises me considering that there's a relatively small amount of complaints by the prisoners, but I guess they just really want to go to bed. <laughs> They're lazy. They want to get some sleep, and as such, they are quite angry about it. You know, it, it, in, in a way, prison architect is kind of like managing a bunch of, uh, you know, four-year-olds or something. They could, they could very easily just call it a daycare architect, and it probably would feel just about the same, um, perhaps minus the beating, you know. But, <laughs> but other than that, just about the same thing. So now that we actually have our foundations down here, we can start thinking about putting in our cells. This is going to be just the mirror image kind of what we what we had going uh, up in our medium security area, but we're just going to pack in the cells more tightly, and we're not going to worry about having a big broad hallway around it in order to keep folks from escaping. Put in some toilets. Make sure we check the utilities, which are inadequate. And how's our power generator doing? Oh, looks like we might need to put another capacitor in. I don't like how close that is getting to full. So there we go. Another capacitor. That's an easy way to burn through $1,000. We can see the last couple minutes we burned through about $10,000. But that's just the cost of running a prison, I suppose. Also going to need a nice big pipe down this way, so I think I will go ahead and put one... Um, let's see, yes, we'll do that, and then extend the small pipes off of that main line, make it a little bit less risky in terms of prisoners escaping through the pipes, which I believe they can do. All right. And looks like our minimum security wing is well underway. Gonna put in a wall there so we can use that that space later. And this foundation, <coughs> this foundation is not quite done yet. I think that th there might be a problem with getting access there. Let's check. Let's check. Fence there? Yes, there's a fence there. Fence there. Fence there. Fence there. So it looks like I may have walled off my workers from getting access to the actual foundation area. So, I have to put in a staff door so they can mosey on down there. And it looks like our grant research also completed. So, let's go check out another grant. Uh, 51,000. We're going to be pretty well over capacity on our prisoners. So, looks like there's not any benefit in a long-term investment, which is kind of kind of odd. But I'll do short-term investment. So, as you can see, 54 hours in about 30 minutes. Uh, we will get a little bit of a return on that. Nice $16,000 bonus. Our workers are almost done with completing this area of the minimum security wing. And once that is done, I will just go ahead and use the clone tool to finish up the cells. And that's going to give us an extra 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Another... In total, another 16 beds, which is pretty nice. We'll be well ahead of the curve on as far as accepting prisoners, uh, at least for the time being. So far, we have only seen uh, batches of eight prisoners, which is typical. That's that's how much you usually get. But it is possible to get uh, quite a bit more. You, you can, I believe the maximum is 16 prisoners at a single time. And, you know, when you get that many you can very quickly end up getting overloaded. That's a really good way to... That that can sink your prison, really, when you get that many prisoners and you're not prepared for it. All right. Are we looking good here? Everything's going to plan. Yes. Yes. Okay. Only thing, only thing is I forgot to put in jail doors. So maybe we should do that.
that is an important part of a prison cell. Uh, right there. And of course, we also want to mark these as actually being cells. All right, and that should just about do it. Now let's see here. It looks like we've got, oh, well, of course, we build a minimum security wing, and what do we get? We get a bunch of high security prisoners. Unfortunately, I, I really don't think that I'm prepared to do anything about that quite yet. I mean, you know, these guys are definitely a risk, but I do not have the cash reserves to build. I don't really have the ability to build a, a high security prison right now because I need CCTV and I could probably use some armed guards, need a rather substantial amount of money to build a large prison complex with a lot of jail doors. And that just is not possible right now. What we can do is we can try and take a look at some of these uh, medium security prisoners and see how they're doing. And we might be able to move some of them over to a lower security area. Uh, this guy, for example, actually looks like a pretty good candidate. His mood is normal. He did spend some time in lockdown, so I'm not sure what he did there. But his reoffending chance is 2%. So he might be a good candidate for minimum security. I'm crossing my fingers there. Even if he's not, you know, we can always go back and fix that later. And we have a fence here, so even if he gets out, it's not going to be a big deal. All right, so I got to redo this cell area here, so it's properly div divvied up, and then we're good. Another thing I need to do is put a jail door right here that allows me to section that off of the deployment screen. Um, until that jail door is built, I'm not going to be able to mark this specific area as being minimum security only. So let's go check in on some more of our prisoners. Mutant. This must this must be one of the guys that was named. Oh my goodness. Well, I don't think this guy's a very good candidate because he's serving 59 years. So he has every reason to want to get out of prison. This guy might be better, although his mood is not great and his refending chance is high. Let's see if maybe there's something I can do to... What's just happened? My my camera. Oh, okay, it's because I put my camera, my focus over a specific guy in that menu. That's what happened. So it looks like actually we do have a fair amount of guys to put in the minimum security. I didn't think we had that many, but according to our prisoner screen, we actually have 12 uh, minimum security prisoners, and we have 16 minimum security cells. So that works out pretty well. What what's what's wrong here? Looks like we didn't have our walls built properly so gotta fix that and now we'll go over to our deployment screen and we will mark this cell block as being minimum security only and then we'll go up here in our deployment screen and mark these as medium security only excellent all right so hit the fast forward button again Get some time passing. So at this point, probably what we should do is add a few more cells, and then we will complete our cell block B grant, and that allows us to get a nice cash infusion of twenty thousand. This is how a guard warning pop pop up, so that might mean there's some trouble down here. Oh, looks like there was some trouble. We missed the action. One of my guards is injured. But, no, oh, there he is. Okay, so it looks like Mr. Jack Road. <laughs> I remember seeing him earlier. He got in a fight with the guard because he's an asshole. I don't know. I mean, his experience so far has not been that bad. And he's going to have to get attended to by a doctor, as should my guard, but it looks like the doctor's already doing that. Sometimes they're a little bit lazy, but... Looks like in this particular case, doctor is getting off his ass on his own accord to go help out the guard. So, anyway, with that interruption out of the way, let's think about doing 
a like a half cell block. Ah, fuck it. We should probably do the whole thing. We're gonna need the space anyway. Um, I'm gonna do just a one hallway, like a one wide hallway up here. So that means one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, thirteen. So a thirteen by thir a thirteen tall area should be fine. Hopefully, I measured that out correctly. Okay. So that's a pretty big foundation. It costs us a good chunk of change. But hopefully the money we get from our grant will make up for it. And it is time, I think, to expand our fences even more. Demolish some of our other fences so that people can actually get back there and do that. All right, so that should handle itself fairly quickly. I'm going to go back and look at my programs again. All right, looks like we're almost halfway done on our foundation education program. <laughs> God damn, scissors, really? Really, this guy just did this. He, he, he went to the infirmary, okay, to get healed. And while he was there, he took scissors and immediately shanks a guard. So I'm going to go search his cell because he could very well have more stuff uh, hidden back there. We'll see if we find anything. But that guy is a complete asshole and is going to be a very serious problem, I do believe. Doesn't look like they found anything on him when they searched him. And doesn't look like anything was found in the cell, so that's good news. <coughs> but this remind me, the next time we have... Um, uh, next night, it might be a good idea to do a shakedown because we do have a lot of high-risk prisoners and they could very easily be, be uh, hiding all manner of terrible things with which to shank our noble guards who are just trying to put some, you know, bread on the table of their families. Gee whiz. All right. So once we get this portion of the cell block complete, we'll fulfill that grant, and that'll be great. So we'll we'll get the twenty thousand dollars, and I probably won't build any more cells up there for the time being. Uh, I do need to expand my pipes, though. I almost forgot about that. Uh, let's see. And my electrical as well. Awesome. All right. Let's see what these guys are up to right now. Looks like they're all just going to head to the yard for now. It's our yard time. They're milling about. The danger level actually is pretty low. Looks like clothing is a major a major uh, complaint is clothing because we don't have a laundry room. Which basically, I mean, you know, it means they're still wearing the clothes, the the jumpsuits they came in <laughs> when they first came to the prison. They haven't had any clean clothes, so they'll be getting a little pissed off about that. Yeah, you can just stay injured, you asshole, Jack Road. Talk about like a handful that a kid that's a handful. This guy, this fat nineteen year old. Why do we even let him have sunglasses? That's what I want to know. Does he, like, have... Yeah. Nope, nothing on him. Nothing on him, so that's good news. Okay, so it looks like our prison is now humming along nicely again. Not any major speed bumps. We're about to get our last cell in. Yes, we did. So I think it is time that we go do the great grant hunt once more and see how we can secure some more funds for a glorious prison. <laughs>